So while Nathaniel and Alex are getting lunch ready, which is looking like a delicious homegrown chicken lunch filled with lots of other stuff, um, I am getting ready a pork butt for dinner that we're gonna try smoking in the oven. Boston. I've never done this before, but can't hurt to try. So here, take a look what they're making for lunch. So that's a bunch of chicken, and what else did you put in there, Nathaniel? Uh, corn and black beans and salsa and seasonings. Okay, Nathaniel loves spicy, and he has to really try to temper himself so that everybody else in the family will eat it, but he usually does a really good job. He loves experimenting, and um, so we turn to Nathaniel constantly when we want to have, um, you know, an interesting meal. <laughs> Like bacon. We make him eat, uh, make the bacon. You hate experimenting? Yes. No, I, I hate like trying new foods, but... You love to experiment in making new foods. Or in making, in changing the seasonings up and, yes, and yes. changing how... That's what I meant. Yes. But I don't like trying that. Okay, yes. He's not much of a new food trier for sure. I will have little kids gobble things up and Nathaniel will sit there and stare at his plate. Anyway, so here I'm working on the on the pork butt. Okay, it's back on now. Is good? Is what good? Oh, sir, enough. This now. This is actually not a pork butt that we grew. We bought it from a local farm when we were on a tour, and um. You did. Yes, this is not one of ours. Okay, so. Okay, I put it in and I'm going to cover it with a rag that I made. Can I do that? You want to rub it in? Mm. Or you want to spin it on? I spin it. Okay, you spin it on here, switch the box with me. All right. Okay, I'm going to turn it over some, so just hold on. Hold on. Let's get it all rubbed in here. This is going to be, this is a rub. This, Mom, this, um, this stuff smells so good. Mm hmm Okay. Wait, this is good. This spice. Don't, don't let the spin touch the um, yeah, that's meat, good. okay? Okay. Ow. Why, because we don't want to contaminate things. Hold on, hold on. Okay, right here. Mmm, that was a good mommy. I can't smell it. I can't. Okay. This spice smells so good. I love you. I just don't smell things. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, pick up the. Mama. Yes. On the skin, you might want to cut the skin so that. Put some down here. Right here. Take a knife and like I actually cut did the. It's okay. We just won't use it again. Well, um, cut the uh, skin. Uh huh. Just like lines of it. Yeah. So that the the more the taste can get into it. Okay. Um. Go ahead, we'll sprinkle some on there and then I'll cut some. You think, anyway, you can hand me a knife since my hands are a mess. No, I Just, I don't need that great big thing. Just yeah, but it's sharp. It, 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 the other one's not sharp. Yeah, this does not even want to cut peppers. Just blend. Hey, I don't know any luck cutting into it. Oh, like that. Okay, I was thinking just little slits, but you're talking bigger slits. Okay. 
Okay, so right now Amelia just put some in my hand. Okay, so I'm just gonna get fun down in the cracks here. Okay. And this is what it looks like. All right. There's only about one spoon left. That's okay, we only have one crack left. Okay, boy that is a big, thick layer of fat on there. If that's where you want it. You want oh, I know, I know. Okay, just dump the rest of it right here on top. All right. Of course, oh. just, just And then put it in the sink. Yep. Yeah. So from what I read about attempting to oven smoke, because that's what this is, is an attempt, um, you generally soak the wood chips in water for a day. what I read was a long time, so I did it overnight. And then you're going to put a small layer of wood chips down on the bottom with a little bit of water and um, then put a rack on top of the wood chips Where's to the, hold your meat. You get a and you really try to wall. want to try to get. But so I put a, a rack down and then put the meat on top of it. And here, I'll let you take a look. I actually have two racks in there trying to keep the meat off of the bottom of the pan. And this isn't really the ideal situation in terms of racks, but. Um, hopefully, you can kind of see down there that I have some wood chips in the bottom with a little bit of water. Yeah, and hopefully, see. it's going to create a smoky environment. And Ew. we're going to cook it in the oven and see if it doesn't turn out to be absolutely amazing. Okay, so we're putting it in. I'm going to let it sit there for three, I think the instructions said three to six hours. And we'll see how it goes, what, how it turns out to be. I can't wait to try So we pulled the uh, pork out of the oven, and Charlie says it's really flavorful. I haven't tried it yet. Um, it's not falling apart as much as I hoped, but I also, the, um, some of the instructions that I had seen said to cook it at 210 for 12 hours, and I didn't have 12 hours to cook it, so I cooked it at 250 for uh, probably about five hours. Um, but it was completely done, and um, it's time to eat. It's time to eat, yeah. So, what time is it now? Six thirty. So, um, well, we'll give it another try again, and then we'll see um, what we think of it this time. Thanks for watching, everybody. So, it's. What time is it? Like 9 o'clock at night or so? And I was in 8.35, so not even 9, when one of the kids comes in and tells us that there's a cow out. So, we came rushing outside, managed to find the cow, get her back in, and now things are calming down. They all have some alfalfa pellets that they're enjoying. Yeah, this is our one of our babies. Um, summer, I think we said. Yeah. So anyway, she's back in. Everything's fine. We checked the fence. Um, it's hot enough. It's not as hot as we want, but um, given the fact that we just installed this fence, we can't get the ground in very far. Ground rod in very far because of uh, how hard the ground is right now. Uh, 5.9 is going to have to be good enough. They still very much respect the fence. Um, thank goodness. And uh, hopefully, this is our last episode of this for a while. Take care, everybody.